4-axis filament winder is an enabling technology that will allow us to wind motor casings and any recovery airframe we have in a single go. Up until now, we have had to split our winds into multiple sessions, which is not good for structural integrity of the part. But now we have a 17 foot long filament winder, so we can wind parts up to 15 feet in length in one go. So that'll allow us to just make our rockets in one step, make them reusable. We'll be able to just pump out parts one after another. Today we are doing a test wind on our largest mandrel. Um, yeah, this is going to be a wind without any filament or um, carbon fiber toe in order to demonstrate that our software works as well as our hardware. So this right here is essentially a simulated wind for uh, the motor casing that we're going to be doing. And this is generated uh, code essentially that we can pull up here in order to actually move the machine. So we're actually currently calibrating the mandrel axis, figure out how to move this so that it doesn't have like recoil almost. Like you'll see when it spins, it has to sort of slow down. It's trying to figure out how to spin it so it just goes to the right angle immediately. But this is insulation for our new composites oven. The composites oven will sit directly beneath the four axis filament winder. We wind our parts, we lower them down directly into the oven, and then they will sit on a rotating curing system so that the parts cure evenly. This is the next step in the composites manufacturing process that will allow us to pump out parts uh, repeatedly and reliably. This machine makes these, and more comp complex shapes as well. This is our next composite motor. As you can see, it's actually kind of wrinkly and not super great quality. It's not a bad tube, but uh, in the future, we won't have all these wrinkles. It'll be a lot more uniform. We'll be able to make parts on this, uh, super uniform wind pattern, and then lower them directly into the oven. The uh, powerful servos on this thing and the four rolls of tow that it can take will allow us to wind casings like this and up to this size. Uh, within uh, hours rather than tens of hours. That's an eight inch inner diameter motor, uh, 12 foot long mandrel, and this machine can take up to 15 foot long mandrels. 